Hello, hello. Welcome to Inklings with Irina, the weekly energy show connecting you to your intuitive guidance system. And today it's all about decisions. Holy cannoli. <laughs> this time of year, there's always a lot of decisions to be made and the clear choice isn't always there, you know? So I want to talk about that today, but before I get into that in too, too much of great depth, if we haven't met yet, my name is Irina Miller. I've been guiding women for over 20 years in just how to interpret the signs, the signals, the information coming their way so that they can make the clear choice, the right decision for them, the best one possible in the moment that gives them peace of mind so that they can sleep well at night and not regret the decisions and the choices they made. And as we get into this, I wanna share a story about a one client of mine, an incredible entrepreneur. She is a strategist. She has been guiding women on how to connect to their ideal client, how to speak in a way that is authentic from the heart and make incredible connections and help their businesses grow beyond their wildest dreams. Now, her business was at a point where it was experiencing rapid expansion. She had a successful program and she realized that she would be able to help these women who had been through her program in an even deeper, more meaningful way to increase their impact and reach if she created a high level mastermind. Now, she's been doing this for over 20 years, so she's not, you know, new on the block. She's definitely got her chops, you know, her street creds, yet this was a new form, a new medium that she was bringing her gift through to the world. And she wanted to make the best choice possible because she wanted each woman in that high level mastermind, because you know, hundreds had already bought her program and she was gonna just work with a specific few in her mastermind, but what was that number? What was the number, and when should she launch, right? What was the number that she would still be able to have the greatest impact on these women, allow them to be seen, heard, helped, nurtured. She didn't want to be overwhelmed herself. You know, if you take on too much, then burnout happens so easily. And sometimes those signs, you know, we miss them or we make promises to people and we want to over deliver and we keep going, going, going. And this is definitely a gal who's like that. She's an over deliverer above and beyond. She has so much heart and compassion for her clients. And she wanted to make the best decision possible. How many people do I bring in to this mastermind. Now, using my unique systems and strategies, she was able to come to just the right amount when she launched her mastermind. It gave her peace of mind knowing that it wasn't gonna be too many to handle with this first launch, this founder's experience. It also enabled her not to experience burnout and frustration from taking on too much too quickly. We have a lot of big dreams and inspirations and ideas, yet if we take it all on at once at times, right, going after that dream, sometimes we don't realize that you know, it's a lot to juggle in one moment. <laughs> we bite off more than we can chew. What happened, this amazing client of mine, was that not only did she have a successful first run of her mastermind, but she doubled the size the next launch. She was able to get the systems and strategies in place to make things run really smoothly. All from the background, being able to make the decisions with those unique systems that I provided to her. So what does this mean for you? You know, how does this story relate? Well, here's the thing. Maybe, maybe you've been at the place where you're trying to figure out, is it time to ask for that raise? Is it time to launch a new program? Am I ready to take my business to the next level or my career? And you look around, you know, maybe you do what most people recommend. You do your research, you journal hundreds and hundreds of pages worth, you meditate. But still, there's not a clear choice. I've had clients who want to leave toxic jobs, but have hesitated. And when we started working, and again, I shared with them my systems and unique strategies, they were able to say, it's time. I feel the guidance. I feel that gut instinct telling me, take this leap right now, even though nothing else is lined up. And miracles have happened. An incredible, incredible engineer who is in a company where she just it was toxic, that's the best way to put it. She was able to make that leap and when she did, 
within a week, she heard from old co-workers who invited her to become a partner in their company. And now she is so much happier because she's only working three weeks out of the month for them and she gets one whole week to focus on her business that she's creating and growing now with all of her years of expertise. So it's amazing what can happen when we can read this information because what if the clear answer was there all along in the journal or in the meditation it'd been popping up but we just missed it because we didn't know how to interpret it that's the work i do that's where i come in <laughs> i help these amazing amazing women go through these very, very sacred practices, both ancient and modern. And again, using those unique systems of mine, I help them develop the ability to interpret, to analyze, to digest the information coming their way and make sense of it so that it's essentially wisdom. They have that peace of mind, that clear choice to move forward with. Because, you know, have you ever known someone who's made a decision they regret? Well, it happens and it's better that we make a decision than no decision at all we're taking action because even not making a decision or a choice is making a decision <laughs> one not to engage you know if this creates um, resonance if this rings true for you you know and what I recommend you do if you're ever in this position where you've got to make a choice you know is it time to you know, choose that office space for my friends who work remotely. Maybe they decide working at home hasn't been, hasn't been the greatest experience. They miss the camaraderie of people. Is it time to leave the day job and pursue the side hustle? Is it time to invest in property, whether it's moving to a new home or it's, you know, getting a, a summer home? <laughs> <laughs> Sky is the limit. Then let's continue the conversation. It would be great to have you hang out with me over in my free Facebook group. If you click the link, my Energy Bot Girl will take you through all the processes to bring you into a wonderful, wonderful community of bright spirits that I have here on Facebook. Also to guide you into continuing the conversation with me in so many other ways. Thank you, thank you for being here. And I'd love to know, where are you watching from today? It's a beautiful fall day here where I am. And I know it's spring for some of my friends in other places. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye guys.